A red-winged blackbird swaying on a reed in the ditch isn't very much, among the broken glass and papers and greasy swamp water near Kokomo Road. But it's something. A splash of blood, a clear song, a dream, a memory. It's something left behind, forgotten, something to hear in the morning's first light. A haunting, a ghost. This is a god in Darwin dance, this song of world, this echo of northern lights and marsh. It's something entering your eyes and ears and skin, an invisible tattoo, a braille you feel and read, but nothing revealed. It's me, remembering how I saw the bird on its reed. Everything changes in the looking. The attic reaching for the sky, a dead dove in the poisonous eve. Sloshing through the flood downstairs, broken walls and rainfall, trying to build a river, the river beneath the river. It is impossible to be good. Only shame and desolation move in the world, only betrayal and rage. This city does not have enough history. We have not yet learned the assassin's hopelessness. A child on two pillows, peering over the dash of a stolen car, a hammer on his lap. Single mother with her knife, a shotgun in Granny's mouth. The babysitter puts a match to the block. Someone got screwed in the alley. Seems like a party. Butt ends in Lysol. A fiddler playing the hopeless polka. Everyone staggering arm in arm. Someone with a kitchen knife is looking for the government. We just dig ourselves deeper with each attempt. There's only this, walking and crawling and standing still. There's only this victim, this murder. There's the human hand on a shovel digging for clues. We are Romans with our headaches and anxiety. We are a trivial people, brutish and blind. We are Romans, standing in sewage, craving the law and God with his scalene triangle. Senators and patricians spread their greed and flash to their eager plebs, and we run to the arena. There's murder in the streets, hostages and spectators. Strippers become naked again and again. There is such a thirst for another city, unquenchable, a thirst for some rich city, a walled place of desire. But all cities are Rome, the boutiques and love shops and the buildings of law and order. We are Romans, with our senators, our laws, and our shabby gods. We worship everything. Nothing is sacred. The cities are dying, yearning for the fire, crying for an end to things. Where are the tribes, those on foot, the lean ones from the desert? Where are the lost ones to destroy our cities? Where is the Mau Mau with his oath, ghosting through the trees? Where is Alka despair erupting on a river's bank? The old stone clans in forests and deserts are turning to leave us, like the jaguar people in search of the beginning of time. You can still smell them on the paths where they passed. You can hear the distant song of women trilling like blackbirds. You want to run and discover them again. You want to hold them close and wonder. Like not quite recognizing someone in a family photograph, like scenting something familiar but gone. Will they find their origins and not return? Have they left behind an ambush, a naked patrol to remind us with arcing spears that we have left our bodies behind? A dish, stone steps, a dancer. Scattered in grass, buried in deserts, these things of man and woman, an obsidian blade, a painted wall, these things made us gods in our own right. An ancient breastbone, ribs, held a fire and let go the contagious heart, spreading through valleys of the rift, the Serengeti, Himalayas, a disease to make us gods, beasts in love and war, turning to watch the infected sky the world going down around us. Wordless, they emerge from forest and desert, 
clothed in the steaming skins of animals, dancing slowly into an eyeless fury. Only memory can offer such rage, children broken on the wheel, their tents slashed open to the sky. Going down, Earth's diary, its broken bowl and ashes. Going down, through shell and leaf and debris, to initials on the stairs. Going down the ladder, breaking into an empty house. Going down, to the world's mouth, for an echo of the first orphan. Going down in an easy death, a raw word in the star's cave. This place of evidence, laid out bones and the stone seeds of wreaths, the debris of home, a broken bowl, a doorstone, and a stick with carved shapes, a calendar or worship, a palm. This place where a woman understood soil and sun and moon and stood back. Someone saying with hands and stuttering tongue, a man turning to look back where he was, becoming strangers. Where is the desert warrior? The city groans with anxiety. Who will deliver us from misery, from our small laws and gods, from the disease we wallow in, from our schools and work lines? Who will bring fire from the desert? Going down at the digging, through bone and stone, through the memory of flesh, going down, looking for something, a flake or shard, going down for a word, something that tells of abiding sorrow. All the silt and cinders say the raspings of a child, abandoned, first orphan of the world. And there, where desert meets the city, in a shanty town, where squalor defines our wealth, there, where God lies beneath rubble, where the bowl is broken, there, a moment we might miss, a glance, a caressing hand, you never know. Sometimes you can hear the howling of their dogs, bells and the soughing wind, moving along the way by foot or horseback, with their golden bracelets, walking past wall and plow. In long grass they pitch their black tents, and the story begins again. Hope, the table overturned and dishes falling, cities gnawing at their own bones, flayed, and shedding the earth, our flesh. Hope is not a question, it's hardly a word, but yes, yes, because we are what we are, and we look ahead and talk, because we are mistaken and blunder on, hope that somewhere, sun blanched amongst the wreckage, something clean, something still left, some last good in us, a moment of sorrow in our disarray, in his dying grace of matter, the usual crockery. <laughs>